finding the derivative of any function depends on what you are going to use so what i mean by that is based on the function that you are giving and then that will direct you to use the right of a uh, tool or associate uh, either a, a property or a definition right so here is a polynomial function this is a polynomial function if you don't know what a polynomial function is this is just have a look at how it is right so that is just for another video but we are giving this function and we want to find a, a derivative right derivative of this function so the meaning of the derivative is in the uh, description right so maybe you may check our playlist if you want to know exactly uh, the meaning behind this technical name now the tool that we are going to use here won't be the same tool that we use to find the derivative of let's say s plus one divided by s or minus two is that okay so this is a different function this is a rational function in some cases that's the technical name and then this is a polynomial function once you're able to identify that you are free to conquer any what uh, 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 derivative of what a function being given to you so to find the derivative of this one, you have to you are going to apply the general rule, right? So that is the name, just a general rule. Is it those, those are just a technical name? What matters is how to use them is the most important thing. So using that here, it says that if I'm having any function, right, that goes like this. What I'm going to do is uh, whatever the exponent is, you see, maybe in this case we are having three. So that three has to come down, right? So the three will drop, and I'm having what x of raised to the power 3 and then we take what one out of what, whatever the exponent may be right so this is a very very simple is that okay so this is what i'm trying to say if you have uh x raised to the power 2 the general rule is saying that if you want to find the derivative of this thing, let the power comes down so here it means that the derivative of uh, this function respect to x right this is just a technical definition right so it's going to be let the 2 comes down so that is 2 multiply by anything that you are giving so the x here and then you subtract one from the power right so the power here you have two minus one so the answer is so two raised to two exponent of exponent x right so raised to the power one of course i'll give it so two s that is the general rule and our a polynomial this is what we are applying to solve this method right so i guess you can do you can do the, this one here right so what we are going to do here is so uh, uh we drop whatever the exponent is here we are having minus so minus here and then we drop whatever the exponent is remember we already have two here so two what is the exponent here is two right so let the two comes down and then we have our, our x here and then the exponent we are going to subtract one from that so minus of uh minus one right this is a rule that you must obey is that okay it's just a a, a a system a structure right so here you are having a plus one so pay close attention now that we are having these two people involving what a variable right so we are having the this function being changed with respect to what we have a simple definition of this derivative in the description i would advise you to check that right okay now these two people are having x here x here look at this guy here this guy doesn't belong to the x family right so this guy here the one here doesn't belong to the s family so if that happens taking the derivative of any number that doesn't involve uh, the, the variable right so that has, in this case doesn't involve the x it's going to be zero right so it's going to is the definition right so it's a lot so if you want to prove that uh, you subscribe to the channel if you want to know more content like this right okay now derivative of any number without a variable this variable here we are seeing this thing to be a number without a variable, it's going to be zero even derivative of 1000 right so 1000 is zero since you are not having what any uh, variable attached to that right so derivative of this guy tends to be what uh, a, 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 a zero right number zero as it is that okay so now let's proceed from this point so yeah we are having what uh, we know the addition subtraction multiplication already so this guy will give us 3x and then here will be what uh square right we left it two and then this guy will give us what, negative four this must be by that should be negative four and then we have x and then exponent of, exponent one right so exponent one okay so here is a zero of course so we have a 3x squared and then minus of 4x so this will be the derivative for, for uh, uh, this function right okay perfect what about this question this question says that we have a uh, 3x squared and then minus 12x and then plus 5 
and then if the derivative here is equal to negative 3 we want to find the values of the x whatever have you plugged in this function here before you had a negative 3 is what of the question is asking us to demand this is very very simple and similar to the previous question that we just saw so the key here is that you must find the values of for this guy here right and then equate it to 3 and then solve it and proceed from there right so which is very easy to do now uh look look, look at something Okay, if you are still here, maybe a congratulation. You have a special gift for you. Are you a high school math guru? Do you belong to a high school math club? Or do you know someone special in high school you want to express your gratitude? What about showing appreciation or encouragement to a friend or relative in a form of a gift? Will you soon graduate from high school, then congratulations in advance? What if you guys are in uniform? Great, right? You may check our store in the description below for nice shirts and more. We love you. Okay, perfect. Now, the first start, the starting point here is on, uh, to find this guy, right? If this guy is equal to that. So, you have you are to find this thing here and equal to, to try. So, here we are going to find the derivative of uh, So, that is what we are giving the derivative of the function. So, let's replace that by what, uh, the y, right? So, the y as the function here. So here, taking the derivative of this thing is, is there. I'm going straight for it, right? So that will give us so 6x and then exponent 1, right? So 6x is exponent 1 here. And then pay another attention. So here we are having, there's 1 here, right? So 1 multiplied by this one gives us all negative 1. So what is happening to the x? Remember, we have 1 minus 1, right? So taking the derivative, this is what's happening. So anything raised to the power 0, that is equal to 1. Is that okay? Anything raised to the power zero is equal to one. Is in mathematics you just need to know the definition how to apply them, right? So anything raised to the power one is equal to zero, meaning that this x here is going to vanish, right? So here you have a, a twelve multiplied by one, and this guy also goes to zero. So this is the answer to the derivative. But remember, we were told that the derivative of the function, which is f prime of x, here, that is equal to negative three, right? So meaning that this guy here is equal to negative three. So you have uh, 6x and then minus 1, so it's going to be equal to negative 3, right? This is what we are just replacing, this, right? From from the question given to it, this is what we are giving. So, replacing this guy here with this, then we are free to go. So, here, this is something that we all know how to solve, right? So, here we add what, uh, positive 12 from both sides of the equation. So, we are going to have 6 here, that is equal to negative 3 plus or plus 12 here, all right? So this guy vanished, so you have 6x, that is equal to 9, right? And then you are dividing both sides by 6 and divide here by 6. So you cancel out, then you have your answer to be 3 on, on 2, right? So the value of the x here is equal to is equal to 3 on 2. Perfect, right? Okay, now looking at, you see, the key here, this is, uh, this is the method that we are going to use in solving a polynomial function. Like, let's see another trick or polynomial question. So here's another question. That's a g x is equal to x squared and minus one or s exponent three, right? So this is what we are going. We are going to find the derivative, right? So this is a symbol of the derivative. Is that okay? So this is a symbol of derivative. And the key here, or maybe the question here is that is this thing a polynomial? Is this similar to the questions that we solved previously? That is the question you should be asking. Remember what I said at the beginning here. You know, a uh, question like this, s minus 2 divided by, let's say, s uh, minus 3 here, you cannot use the method that we used previously to solve uh, this uh, function, right? Remember, this is the rational. We have x at the top here. We say variable another x at the top here, right? So here, we can rewrite this thing to look like, right, this function. So before we come to the derivative, so we can rewrite that function, g of s, this one to be equal to s squared here, minus, so this guy can be written as, so x raised to the power negative 3, right? So, is this the matter of rearranging, right? So that we can use uh, the method that we already know. If you have something that goes like this, 1 on 2, I can rewrite this thing to be 2 raised to the power negative 1, which is the same thing. We are just interchanging. If someone calls you by your same name or your first name, you are the same person, right? So, that is the, the analogy. Now, with this thing, we can easily apply our method of uh, solving the uh, 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 derivative of a function in the form of a, a polynomial. So, here should be equal to, right? So, straightforward, we are finding the derivative, right? So, these are the notations of uh, the derivative, g prime of s. So, this guy is going to be what? Uh, 2x, right? So, here minus 1, so 2x. I hope you are okay. 
and then here tends to be negative you have another negative three right so put all the negative into brackets so the negative come down and then you have x to the power negative three minus or minus one right okay so here is going to be two x of course this guy tends to be a positive three and then what is happening to this before x raised to the power negative four right Perfect and straightforward. Is that okay? So remember how we started. This is how the function was given to us at the beginning, right? So this is how the function was given to us. So we can rewrite this guy to be equal to 2x here plus 4, right? 3x raised to the power 4. Because this is what we are giving at the beginning, right? So this is the value or the derivative of 4 of it. If you want to know more about the derivative or any function that you want to find a derivative, make sure that you comment in the comment section below, right? Or maybe you subscribe to the channel so anytime we, we upload a video uh, or on lessons like this, you get uh, notified.